Hey everyone, please subscribe to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my most videos. Today I thought I would do a video on um, which step counter you should buy. So I'm doing the comparison between an Apple Watch first generation and a Fitbit Ultra. So the Fitbit Ultra is going to run you $129.99 and the Apple Watch is going to run you about $200. So today I'm going to show you which which step counter I suggest. So so I am just letting you know that each you can do what you want, but this is my personal opinion in the video. So I actually lost the footage of my intro from two days ago, so I had to do an intro here. I'm also going to do a video on um, my channel about another comparison video between my Apple Watch first generation, the Fitbit Ulta, and I'm going to be doing um, it also between the Pacer app, which I have on my phone, which I will show you in this in the next video, so hey guys, let's go. So it is next day. I've had my Apple Watch and my Alta on for two hours or more, and these are what they look like right now. So here's the one, and here's the second one. So I'm going to do a step comparison. So the one thing I have to say, if you guys are wondering, I had this Fitbit Alta on first this morning, so it's tracking my sleep. So this one might be a little ahead in steps. So I'm gonna do this one first. So this one has 1,300 steps. My Apple Watch has 1,000, okay. This one has 1,896, which is really kind of off right now, but I'm gonna actually go to the Fitbit app and I'm gonna check the step counting quick because it is weird because I've had this on longer. Um, so I'm going to look at that really quickly. Right. And I'll be so good. I did check my app in my Fitbit. So this one is at 1,306 and the other one is about 800, 1,896 and they're about 500,000 apart or so. And I really do recommend both of them right now. We'll see what end of my work shift goes, see which one's higher in steps. Now, I'm also going to throw in my steps that I have on my phone. Because my phone might be more accurate. Let's see what my phone says. So, little side note. So, my phone. I have my phone on me. So, my phone is actually 1,536. So, it's in between the yeah, app, my Apple Watch and my phone. So, yeah. So, that's what it looks like. So, I'm going to go into my work day. Or, I'm going to go walk around. Going to work on it. So, I recommend. So, I'll do put the pricing in the description if you guys want to buy them. I don't know if you buy the first generation Apple Watch anywhere. But, I'll put the link in the description where you can buy them if you want to buy the first generation apple watch i recommend going a little higher in steps or in um apple watches so i am so going it is 10 15 i'm just hanging out right now i'm actually decided to check my step count so i want to just do nothing quick so my my fitbit my uh, my apple watch is at 1970 and my fitbit is at 1333 so my apple watch is five or something ahead so if i were to give an honest opinion right now i would say go with the apple watch because the apple watch seems to be more accurate right now but what's really odd is i'm going to give you a little tip here quick and then i need to get ready for work but i was had the fitbit on when i got out of bed this morning and it didn't really count so i recommend going with an apple watch instead of a fitbit but i like just to compare sorry if this video gets really long but i want to just update as i go um, I will not, I might, so, I, I might screenshot, like, the picture, some screenshots, some of my step county during the day, so that you guys can see them. I'll put screenshot, I'll screenshot at about one, because I'll be at work, and I, I'm not gonna update you guys at work, so I'll screenshot it at about one, but put it in there. I'm gonna go on my break for, at work at about three, I will do another screenshot and put it in here, so... And then when I go to my break at um, 5.30 or 5 at work, I will do another screenshot. So I'll put the screenshots in there so you guys can see what my step counts are at 1, 3, and 5 whenever I go on break. So I just recommend you guys to spend the money. So a Fitbit also is about 130 and I think an Apple Watch is about 200 bucks, but I still recommend an Apple Watch right now. So I'm going to go and then I'll, next couple clips you'll see is my screenshots I do um, at work. Alright guys, so I thought I should show you kind of what the Apple app activity tracker and the Fitbit looks like, but I do have an iFitness activity tracker, which I actually don't like, but for really cheap. So here's what the Fitbit looks like right now. So 
this is all my my fitbits right now it just shows you how many miles you did how many hours i slept um it just shows you that um this is what you do and then if you want to you can change your clock faces which i am i don't know how you do that in this app right now but i haven't used one of these in a long time so you have your community your your all uh, activities and then in here i'm gonna have to blur that out but you here's where you can change your clock faces if you want um you can just show what your you can show your activity whatever and you can set silent alarms here's the clock faces i'm actually gonna change mine i don't like the one I picked, you knew horizontal, but, um, so we're going to show that, and then it syncs to your Apple Watch, and then that your Apple Watch Fitbit, um, so I think we're going to show this one now, and then for your Apple, Apple Watch, you go into, here is your activity tracker, so this is my activity tracker. So this is what I have so far for steps. So we're kind of far in steps. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is this is a little different. So I recommend going with the Apple Watch. It's gonna give you a different feature. And also, how you change your clock faces, but you'd have to go on the Apple Watch app and go here to change all your features. You can put like customized apps here, which I have done. Um, but I'm gonna actually change mine a little bit. So you can actually change it, but I'm not gonna show you how because I have like, really random ones so i will be ba back so i'm back yeah i know it is only almost 11 but i wanted to do a little update so my apple watch right now is at 2514 and then my my app or then my Fitbit is at 1987. I don't know which one's accurate if my Apple Watch is more accurate or if my fit Fitbit is more accurate. You guys comment down below if you think a Apple Watch or Fitbit is more um accurate. I'll be back in a little Guys, so it is almost nine o'clock and I thought I would just do an up update for you guys. So I've been screenshotting my my steps from the days from work, but I will have to put it that the Apple Watch is better than the Fitbit Ulta. Um I'm not saying all Fitbits are not wrong, but okay, so my ending step count was for I have fourteen thousand six hundred and eighty-nine on my Ulta and on my um on my Apple Watch, I have 16,888. So it is like a thousand, a thousand things apart. Sorry, my hands in the way. So I recommend if you guys have the money, spend on an Apple Watch. Spend $200 or so on an Apple Watch because it is worth it. Uh, Fitbit is more a good price point. Also, I have to give credits to um, Ulta, my Ulta. Things a that bit. I love about my Ulta is sleep tracking, is what I like to do. Is really fun to track my sleep. I I wanted to see how I sleep. Um, it's really slim, so it works really well if you're at a job that you can have a step count around, but you don't want to bring your Apple Watch with you. You also need to make sure, and it, only other thing that is very cons about a Fitbit is it does not. You can't text back on messenger messages messages. You get to see only some notifications, so you can't see like all your all the things come through. Um, it's but it has the one good pro though that I will have to say is that the Fitbit also does have good good um band change. You can change the bands. You can buy different bands if you want. So let's go through the pros and cons that I would say of an Apple Watch before I go to bed. So I will screenshot whatever I, what my step count is after the fact is. So I absolutely, guys, I will say this video was fun to make. I'm hoping it's not too long. If it gets a little long, 
Um, I'm sorry about it. I'll try to leave links in the description below where you can buy a Fitbit, the Fitbit Ultra if you want, and where you can buy a first Apple, first generation Apple Watch if you guys choose. I actually would recommend going with a second generation or higher, but they're a lot more expensive. So, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Comment down below what you want to see next. The question of the day is, if you have a step counter, what tracker, what do you use? So, what I'm going to be using is my main step tracker is my Apple Watch. My side tracker would have to be my Ulta. My Ulta is going to be my, my main tracker for sleep tracking so i'm thinking of maybe net for christmas maybe getting my friend uh some sort of a clip-on um tracker that can track her sleep she has to sit somewhere about it so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video